Hello friends, welcome. Let's go through this problem. P and Q are positive integers. The number of ordered pairs such that LCM of P and Q is 12 is how many? So what we know about LCM of two numbers? We know that LCM is obtained by taking the product of all the factors with their highest powers. So let's first try to find out what is the prime factorization of 12. Let us see what is the prime factorization of 12. 12 prime factorization is equal to 2 square into 3 power 1 or can I say 2 square into 3. Now let us say that we will consider two numbers. The numbers are x and y such that their LCM equal to 12. We will consider two numbers x comma y. So I will divide that into two parts. In one part I will try to see how I can distribute 2 square. On the other side I will see how I can distribute 3 power 1. So if I want the total number of ordered pairs, if I am able to get the combination, get the options how many I can have from the first and second I multiply them I will be getting the total number of added pairs. Now what we know about LCM? LCM means the highest product of the highest powers of the factors that means if I want to have numbers x and y with LCM 12 then they must and should have 2 square on one of the sides. So let us say that 2 square is taken to given to x then what y can have? y can have 1, y can have 2, y can also have 2 square. So I can have x with 2 square and y with 1, x with 2 square and y with 2 and also x with 2 square and y also with 2 square. Now let us say we want to keep 2 square on the y side then what will be the options I will have if I have 2 square on the y side on the x side I can distribute 1 to x or if I have 2 square I can also distribute x to value 2 that means total I have 1 2 3 4 5 5 combinations or 5 number of ordered pairs I can get by only considering 2 square now let's go to 3 and see how we can do that. Now since LCM is 2 square into 3, either X or Y should have 3. Let us say first thing we will consider 3 to be with X. If X is having 3, Y can have 1. If X is having 3, Y can also have 3. Similarly, if let us say Y is having 3, then X can have, X can have only 1 because 3 and 3 case we have considered already. So how many combinations we are getting now? We are getting 3 combinations. That means if you take both 2 square into 3, these two cases combined then we should have 5 into 3, 15 number of ordered pairs. That should be your answer. We will also verify this. Since it's a very small number, I can just show you how we can get it. We will also derive the formula for this. Now let us see here, observe this. 2 square we are having 5 and 3 power 1 we are having 3. Now what is the relation between 2 and 5 and here 1 and 3? The relation is very simple. If the highest power here is 2, then this is nothing but 2 into 2 plus 1. Similarly, if the highest power is 1, then this is nothing but equal to 2 into 1 plus 1. So, so the total number of ordered pairs we can have is 15. So let's take another number and see how simple it is so that we can find out the number of ordered pairs. Let us consider number 252. Now, instead of 12, if it is given to you 252, then we can solve 12 in couple of ways. Another ways also I will show you to you. But 252, it becomes very tedious to follow the other way of solving it. The easiest way is do the prime factorization of 252, which is nothing but 252, I can write it as 7 into 36. That's nothing but 7 into 9 into 4 or can I say 2 square into 3 square into 7 power 1. So I told you already 
if the highest power is 2 then this will be 5 then again a 2 it will be 5 again 1 will be 3 because the formula is if the power is 2 then this is 2 into 2 plus 1 that's nothing but equal to 5 similarly here 5 and 5 so we have 75 ordered pairs for 252 now what is the general formula we can use for this if you get the LCM as a power m b power n and let us say c power l then the total number of ordered pairs will be 2m plus 1 multiply with 2n plus 1 multiply with 2l plus 1 so this is the formula which you can note down so that you can solve these type of problems now let me show you for LCM of 12 how we can confirm that there are only 15 options I may not be able to prove you for 75 for 252 it may take long time but for 12 I can certainly show it to you okay so how we are going to find out all the 15 is very simple what we will do we will take we'll write down X multiplied with Y is equal to HCF into LCM we already know LCM is equal to 12 and its prime factorization is 2 square into 3 that means what can be the values of HCF HCF can be 1 HCF can be 2 HCF can be 3 HCF can be 4 or HCF can be 6 or HCF can be 12 so now the product of the numbers is nothing but equal to HCF into LCM so we know that in each case what will be the product of numbers then we'll find out how many combinations I can have if you remember we should get 2 square into 3 that's nothing but according to our formula 2 into 2 plus 1 multiply with 2 into 1 plus 1 because it is 3 power 1 so that is 5 into 3 15 we are just checking verifying with another method how we can see that whether they are 15 or not okay now if I take HCF into LCM equal to 12 that means the product of numbers is 12 I need two num I need numbers such that the HCF is 1 and the LCM is 12 so the product of the numbers is equal to 12 so what will be the numbers which whose product is 12 and also HCF is 1 they are nothing but I can consider 1 comma 12 whose HCF is 1 and the product is 12 I can also have 12 comma 1 I can also have 3 comma 4 I can also have 4 comma 3 now you can see all of them the HCF is 1 and the product of the numbers is nothing but equal to HCF into LCM that is equal to 12 now let's go to the next case where HCF is 2 2 and 12 I need to ha have now numbers whose product is 24 but their HCF should be 2 so can I say 2 comma 12 so that 2 into 12 is 24 similarly 12 comma 2 can I have any other numbers whose product is 24 can I write how can I write 24 2 into 12 I can also write it as 4 into 6 you can see now HCF is 4 of 6 4 comma 6 HCF is 2 I can also write down 6 comma 4 because added pair I can reverse them it will be other now 3 into 12 3 into 12 is st pretty straightforward 3 comma 12 12 comma 3 similarly 4 comma 12 that is multiplication product is 48 but the HCF is 4 so I can write it as 4 comma 12 12 comma 4 similarly 6 comma 12 12 comma 6 and the last one is 12 comma 12 where HCF is 12 and the LCM is also 12 and the numbers are 12 comma 12 let us count how many combinations we got now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so you can see that we got total 15 combinations now this type of approach I can follow only when the number is small if the number is like 252 it becomes very tough 
to do this way it is very tedious that is when we can go with the earlier approach where we said that if 2 square into 3 is the prime factorization then the total number of ordered pairs is 2 m plus 1 m equal to 2 that is 5 multiplied with 2 n plus 1 that is equal to 3 5 into 3 15 number of ordered pairs we can have so that's one interesting problem thanks for your time and support bye for now